Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Power Is Now Home Buyer Town Hall. My name is Eric Frazier, and it's a beautiful day in Southern California, a great day to talk about real estate. And we're so happy that you are tuning in with us tonight. We have a special show tonight. We will be interviewing a new, another actually, a first time home buyer who's utilizing the Golden State Finance Authority program. And folks, I strongly support, I'm an advocate for home ownership, and I'm so excited every time someone makes that decision to make their home ownership dreams a reality by using down payment assistance. So I'm really excited about our special guest, and I'll tell you more about her in just a few minutes. In addition to, of course, talking about the down payment assistance program with someone who's actually using the program, we have the fabulous Carolyn Sansuri, who will be talking about uh, the Golden State program. She's the marketing director for the program. And then we have, of course, our VIP agents who are extraordinary real estate professionals who do a fantastic job representing buyers and sellers and helping them uh, to achieve their goals, whether it be buying a home or an investment property or selling their home. If you're thinking about buying or selling, I highly recommend that you go to thepowersnow.com, thepowerisnow.com. And there you'll find uh, all of our VIP agents, folks. We are looking for more to add to our platform to serve our audience that is continuing to grow. Now, again, my name is Eric Frazier. And in addition to being the host of The Powers Now, I'm also a vice president and mortgage advisor with First Bank. My license number is 461807. The views and opinions that I express on this show are my own and do not necessarily reflect that of First Bank. Now, First Bank is a national lender, 49 states, folks, and we're able to assist people in every conceivable way, whether it be FHA, VA, conventional, even portfolio programs, even commercial loans. We do it all. And we are assisting people actually in taking advantage of the Golden State Finance Authority program, as well as the California Housing Finance Authority program. And so First Bank is well prepared to assist you in your uh, dreams of building wealth through real estate as a first time home buyer or as an investor. Now, before we get started, I want to take a moment and to introduce our guest today. We're going to start off with our uh, VIP agent, uh, Jenny Gonzalez. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Eric. I always love doing these, these round tables because we learn so much more information. There's always something new. There's always something to talk about. And there's always something that we can learn. This is Jenny Gonzalez with Keller Williams Corona. My license number is 01249788. I've been licensed since 1998. And my cell phone number is 951-3160374. And I look forward to our special guest tonight. Thank you, Jenny. Jenny Hells from Corona, California, my neighbor. I live here in Riverside. Uh, next up is Yvonne McFadden out of Arizona. Welcome, Yvonne. Good evening from sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Yvonne McFadden with Deluxury at Deluxe Realty. My license number is SA0350430000. You can contact me on my website, YvonneMcFaddenRealtor.com. And my telephone number is 480-628-2619. I'm looking forward to this evening's show. I love hearing our new homeowners share their stories. It's inspiring. Thank you, Yvonne. Nobody talks about Arizona like Yvonne McFadden. Look out for her uh, market update. Next up is Carolyn Sansori. And Carolyn, I tell you, what can I say? What can I say? We love Carolyn Sansori and her commitment to helping people to achieve the American dream. And she's with us tonight. Welcome, Carolyn, to the show. Hi, thanks for having me tonight. This is actually really exciting because tonight the home buyer, the guest is someone who is actually going through our Platinum Down Payment Assistance Program. I'm very excited to talk to her. So am I. And folks, this young lady happens to be my daughter, and we're going to bring her to you in just a few minutes. But these are our guests tonight, and we may have other VIP agents joining us. We'll see what happens. I, I want you to, to first of all, go to thepowersnow.com, right? 
thepowersnow.com bookmark it so you can check it out later. And then for those of you who are watching us live on uh, Facebook, please share this link uh, to your family, your friends. We're going to be talking about down payment assistance. And it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to have a person who's actually in it, about ready to close on it. That's a whole nother level of conversation, right? And then, of course, to have the marketing director herself administrating the program, Carolyn Sansari, right here on the Power Is Now Home Buyer Town Hall. So we're going to have a great show. Stand by. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Power Is Now Home Buyer Town Hall. Want to keep up with the current developments happening in the world of real estate? The Real Estate Roundtable, hosted by Eric L. Frazier, is a show you do not want to miss. The show features a panel of VIP agents who are passionate about helping people. It is what they do best. They discuss today's hot topics, latest market updates and trends. The panel also conducts interviews with prominent figures in the industry. New episode every Friday live on Facebook and replay on the Power Is Now YouTube channel. And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to the Power Is Now Home Buyer Town Hall, where every first and third Tuesday night at 7 p.m., we are live on Facebook. And our goal is to empower you with information tools and resources to help you make the dream of homeownership a reality. It is a reality to many people who are taking advantage of it. And sometimes the difference between those who are taking advantage of the opportunities to buy and those who are not is knowledge. And knowledge is power and the power is now. Tonight, I have a very, very special guest. Now, this guest is special in so many ways, more than I can probably count. But her name is Jessica Frazier, and she is a real estate professional with 15 years of experience. She's in real estate. She has a master's degree in business with an emphasis in finance. She teaches real estate uh, at the extension course at UCLA. And she works in real estate in the housing uh, with the housing authority in Los Angeles. And we're going to get into more of those details in just a minute. But she's buying a home and she's taking advantage of the Golden State Finance Authority. And she, after some pleading and begging, uh, was willing to come on and share her experience so far. Welcome, Jessica, to the Powers Now Home Buyer Town Hall. <laughs> Hello, I made it. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. You are here. And uh, thank you for taking time. I know you are a busy young lady doing a lot of big things and um, buying your home. And in, uh, in fact, what city is this house going to be in that you're purchasing? Uh, Whittier, California. Whittier, California. So, uh, Jessica, first, um, uh, full disclosure, I just stated you are my oldest daughter. And I and I just want to ask you a question here. So how does it feel being the daughter of Eric Frazier? No, you don't have to answer that question. But I figure <laughs> you, want a real, my... you want a real answer on your show, Dad? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Give the real answer. Go ahead. No, no it's great. Answer. It's great. It's a you know, it's a lot of pressure. But you know, I think I'm rising to the occasion. So I think it's wonderful. It's great. <laughs> Well, I know it's a lot of pressure. You know, folks, uh, my wife and I will celebrate 39 years of marriage on the 19th of December. That's in about, what is that, four days here. Mm -hmm. And Jessica is our firstborn. There's something about your firstborn, right? I mean, they get the experience, uh, the good and the bad. First, we learn how to be parents on Jessica. So all the other kids uh, <laughs> break, right? Wouldn't you agree, Jessica? <laughs> Uh, yes, the yes, yes. Guinea pig, number one over here, yes. <laughs> yes, she was a guinea pig. In fact, the youngest, and they will all say, and I know they're probably watching right now, but the youngest got away with murder uh, because after we got to her, number four, Rayla, I think we were all pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Jessica, thank you for, again, being on the show tonight. And uh, as a young person, you know, getting ready to uh, purchase your first home, can you share with our audience what your thought process of buying now as opposed to later? Because I know you're like many young people, you know, moving up in your career, saving money, dealing with school debt, just trying to get yourself in position. But why now as opposed to later? Um, the main reason why I decided to purchase now was really the interest rates, to be honest with you. I think interest rates are at an all time low. And so when you think about you know, your purchasing power and what you have the ability to do, um, this just seemed like the best opportunity. You know, I had looked to purchase property um, the year before, but interest rates were higher. So I just, you know, to this this market, um, although it's crazy, um, really lends itself to um, giving me the best opportunity to purchase something that I can afford um, at a low interest rate. Well, speaking of low interest rates, uh, you got a heck of a deal. And uh, we're going to share with our with our audience in a few minutes what that deal was. But before we get into that, um, this did not happen overnight, right? Um, I think how many pre-approvals have we done? <laughs> Too many to count. <laughs> Probably three. I, I think you know I started the process in January, and we're in December. So I mean, almost a full year. What ten months? Nine, Eleven months? right to to get to this point here so um it's definitely been um a little bit of a roller coaster but it's been worth it yeah uh i agree uh and that roller coaster did you ever think about just you know stopping all together and giving up because i know that in that year also you've taken some a couple of pretty expensive vacations and uh you know <laughs> i'm wondering if you just kick you know kick, uh. kick a, a house buying idea to the curb no, I always have a vacation fund, okay? Vacations are never going anywhere. But I I did, I actually gave up twice this year um, because one, you know, there's so many people trying to purchase property right now that, you know, I just felt that I wasn't as competitive as some of the other buyers that were out there in the market. Um, and specifically in the areas that I was trying to look for, look in initially to purchase, you know, I really wanted to, I live in Los Angeles. I really wanted to stay in LA. I didn't really want to go to LA County. So majority of my search for the first, I would say seven and a half months of the year was really in my, you know, five mile geographic, you know, area. Um, and once I decided to kind of go outside of that bubble, things started changing, but I definitely did, you know, stop looking for, I would say probably almost, 60 days where I just was like, I'm, you know, you look, I, I was passively looking, right? Not actively looking. So, right. Well, you know, we try to get you to go further east where it was more affordable, but you just refuse to do that <laughs> drive, right? Tell us about your commitment not to do the drive and by hook or crook, by any means necessary, find something, you know, as close to work as possible. You know, I've been spoiled. I've always, lived and worked less than eight miles from my current home, you know, and so I didn't want to drive, you know, it takes, you know, I live in uh, an area called Highland Park in Los Angeles, California, and I work in downtown Los Angeles. And so, you know, right now it's an eight mile drive, but it takes me 20 minutes. I couldn't imagine going 12 miles, 13 miles, 14 miles. I was like, you know, about to fall out. It just seemed like a daunting situation to have to get on the freeway. But then I realized that, you know, what I am trying to get here is not necessarily, you know, anything better that I can get somewhere else. So I decided, you know, with a, some push of my, my, my sister, who also lives in Whittier, you know, she wanted us to be neighbors. So her dreams of neighbors are really coming true. But uh, I decided to kind of move out a little bit further. And so it's not that far. I'm close to the freeway, which is what, which was something that was definitely on my list. So mm -hmm. I can't complain. I can't complain right now. You know, your mother and I were talking about actually moving out to Whittier too. So just maybe everybody will live in Whittier and be next to the grandkids. So, uh, so in fact, how big of a decision was this particular house? Because I know that uh, Brianna, you and Brianna looked at a number of houses and showed it you and Ruby. By the way, in fact, so folks, Jessica is a real estate agent and so is her sister who is representing her and so is my wife 
who is the president of Fraser Group Realty. So this was clearly a family affair. I'm, I'm, in fact, I bet you even the grandkids got involved. Did you guys take them? <laughs> no, we did not. No, but they were in, they were interested. Everyone was very much, you know, committed to the process, right? <laughs> so, you know, I started out with my mom. You know, she was showing me houses in South Los Angeles, and then I was showing myself houses in between where my mom couldn't show me houses. And then I was like, I'm done with this. And then Brianna, you know, I was like, just take over, take the wheel. I can't handle it anymore. And then now I'm in Whittier. So I really think it was a setup, to be honest with you. you know? Yeah, it, it certainly <laughs> sounds like a setup. A built-in baby center. Aunt Jessica is nearby now. So uh, Brianna and Virgil should be able to take uh, the more getaways now, right? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Well, not promising I, anything. <laughs> I don't blame you. Now, what is it about uh, Whittier in particular, though? Is proximity to your job anything else about the area? And and before we get into this particular house that you chose, um, you know, it's really it's proximity. Whittier is really like tw like I think it's almost 15, 15 to twenty miles right from the center of downtown Los Angeles. Um, you know, depending on where you are in Whittier, you could be landlocked, right, in an area where there's not a lot of transit or, or freeways. But I really decided to be a, a closer towards the freeway so I can get easy access on and off, knowing that I do work in downtown. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a, Whittier is a really nice place. I mean, there's a lot of really, really nice um, um, things that are in Whittier. It's close to Orange County. It, it borders, you know, Los Angeles. So to me, it's a border town. And so I was OK with that. Well, not only that, do you think uh, you, you got a good deal compared to what you would have gotten in L.A. proper, oh, you know, same house? Absolutely. Um, I was looking at houses in the $500,000 range in my current neighborhood that were about 1,000 square feet. And these are really townhomes or con really condos, to be honest with you. And in Whittier, I'm getting, and these were two bedrooms, one bath. Um, and with HOA, you know, HOA dues that are close to $450,000 or something like that. I mean, excuse me, $458, not $1,000, let me correct myself. Um, but in Whittier, I'm able to get a three bedroom, two bath, 1,645 square foot townhouse with, you know, um, direct access garages, a patio, uh, you know, common area with a pool. So the amenities that I'm getting in Whittier far exceed what I would be able to afford in, in Los Angeles proper. So it was definitely now, a better move. Now, I also know that you looked at some brand new homes and uh, everybody wants a new home. Uh, mm -hmm. And I understand why, because it's uh, turnkey, right? You don't have to do anything. And you looked at several new properties in, uh, in Whittier in that area. Uh, what what was the deciding factor with, you know, abandoning the new home idea and going with the resale? Well, um, you know, the new homes definitely had a lot of amenities that, you know, were amazing. There was just a lot of really nice things over there. But I think the bottom line really came down to is one, I wasn't I would be getting a smaller home. That's number one. Uh, number two, the, the the new homes that I were looking at had HOA dues and Mellow Roos, which was, um, you know, a double, double taxation, if you want to call it. Um, and so um, it just financially didn't make sense for me. You know, I could get something that was bigger um, in the same city without having to deal with additional um, taxes in regards to the Mellow Roos. Um, and, you know, when you're buying new homes, you know, if you don't get into like the first, between the first and the third phase, I mean, they really, it, the prices really tend to go up a lot quicker and you really can get priced out of the market. So I just decided to um, to look for a resale property. So tell us about this resale property. You, you've given us some information, but I know that uh, you'll, you will have to go in and do a little bit of work, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not afraid of work. So it is, it does need a little bit of love and attention. Um, so I will go in there and do um, just it's mainly cosmetic um, updates and repairs to the property before I move in. And so I'm excited to kind of get my my tool set out, my D DIY skills together and uh, kind of make it my own. So that'll be an exciting process. Now, you know, to lose my number, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. I've already I've committed you to painting walls. Um, so I expect you there with paintbrushes and, you know, ready to go. Ready wow. to go. I will wow. provide lunch, but definitely 
I need everybody's sweat equity on this one. So wow. yours included. <laughs> well, hey, what's family for, right? Uh, but um, I might be willing to donate a handyman in my place. <laughs> hey, I'll take that as well. That all right, all right. Exactly. Now, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the financing. So this was a, first, what was the sales price? And then um, the loan. So the sales price of this property was four ninety nine, FHA loan with a four percent um, down payment assistance with the Golden State program. So, folks, you have the opportunity to choose five percent, four percent, three percent, two percent, or even no assistance actually, and get a subsidized, very low interest rate. Uh, so, Jessica, tell us about the program you got. And I, I think you're the first. I've done a, quite a few transactions with Golden State. And you're the first that has taken less than the maximum amount. And tell oh. us why. Uh, really, the interest rate was the main driver. Um, you know, I wanted to get a lower interest rate. And so I felt that I could, you know, make up the difference um, in cash to be able to put down. And so I was able to do that. And it really made more sense for me. And, and I think it actually will help me in the long term. So it was really the interest rate. Yeah. So the interest rate, I believe, is 2.75. And uh, in fact, I'm going online and see. I haven't actually looked at it today. But the interest rate was 2.75 the last time I checked. And um, we're going to be uh, locking in your loan here because you're ready to go just about. The appraisal's done. Uh, in fact, uh, did it come in a little bit higher? Right, uh, slightly. Yeah, it came. The appraisal came in at four ninety nine six forty, I believe. So it was slightly higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, which is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm walking in with some money. I'm walking in with some money. I'll take it. So Jessica, this is um, uh, this is not actually your first transaction. This is your second transaction, but you uh, qualify as a first time home buyer, uh, even though this program doesn't require you to be a first time home buyer. So tell us about your goals now. What do you see yourself after closing on this property? And by the way, folks, I mean, uh, just so for the record, right, Jessica, everything is clear and we're about ready to close. When's your close of escrow date? Um, it's the end of the year. Uh, what is it? December the 30th. December the 30th. So appraisal's done, loans approved, conditions are met. And so we're ready to close. And uh, you actually uh, have some unique circumstances. I don't know if we're going to talk about that or not, but it took some uh, pretty savvy negotiations on behalf of your extraordinary real estate broker, uh, Broker Bree, we call her here in the family. Uh, you want to share uh, those uh, details? I mean, she really, you know, I, because I'm in affordable housing and I negotiate transactions, you know, on behalf of the city, I do things a little bit more uh, aggressively. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, she really had to reel me in on some of the things that I was asking for. So I appreciate my, my sister broker Bree and taking control, taking the reins of the transaction and kind of making sure that things are running very smoothly. I mean, she, she's been instrumental in getting, you know, um, you know, the, my request for repairs completed, making sure all the documents are in, making sure that, you know, all the I's and all the T's are being crossed. So definitely. I'm helping with making a smooth transition. So I would definitely recommend her to anyone who is looking for a real estate agent in the Los Angeles or Orange County area. Uh, she definitely can help you out there. Now, Broker Bree couldn't be one with us tonight because she's uh, probably taking care of three uh, future real estate professionals, uh, Cameron, Rayla, and Cara, uh, our uh, grandchildren. Uh, the rate today, Jessica, is actually 2.625 with 4%. I'll take it. It's a deal. It's a deal. Let's do it. Where's the paperwork? Let's sign it. Let's, so, let's, so let's we get done. Be, <laughs> we will be locking in tomorrow. We will be locking in tomorrow uh, with everything done. And so I'm excited for you. And what a fantastic deal. Now, Jessica, for those other young folks out there, um, who are thinking about buying, uh, can, is there any words of wisdom you have you can share as to you know why they should buy now? I mean, where even did the idea of you buying real estate come into play uh, at this stage in your life? Because um, you know, obviously you could have done it earlier as opposed mm -hmm. to now. Yeah, I would say get off the fence. I mean, I've been contemplating you know, a purchase 
probably for at least five or six years. I remember, you know, you and uh, mommy telling me, yo, get pre-qualified. This is probably in 2012. Get pre-qualified, buy something, buy something. And I never did it, you know. Oh, I need, you know, it's always something, right? Uh, uh, but I would say, you know, don't wait. There's no real reason to wait right now because the market is where it is. I think it's a really great opportunity for for young people to jump into the market and to make that transition from being a renter where you're paying someone else's mortgage on a regular basis to actually, you know, helping to build equity and some type of long-term asset that can help you to build financial wealth. And so I think it's important that, um, you know, people just make the decision. I know that sometimes we want to analyze things to death and, uh, you know, think about all the pros and cons, but I think, you know, I'm, you know this, you know, we haven't seen interest rates the way that they are right now. And who knows when it's been years, it's been years. So the fact that we're in this type of market um, really um, should really invigorate and motivate people to kind of get out there and, and start the process. Now, Jessica, you uh, have a little bit of an advantage because you are a real estate agent. You've been in real estate for 15 years. Uh, before we go to break, I uh, want you to just tell our audience a little bit about what you do. You work in you, you work for Fraser Group Realty. You are an agent, but you also have a full time position with the County of Los Angeles. So yeah, so I work for the Housing Authority of the City of Los Angeles as a development officer, and there I provide affordable housing opportunities to low income and moderate income individuals and families. Um, in addition to that work, I also teach at UCLA Extension Center. I've been teaching there for the past six and a half years, real estate courses to um, to uh, working adults and, and, and college age students who are interested in getting into real estate, com uh, commercial property management, regular property management, um, and wanting to learn about international real estate markets. So I, I do it all, unfortunately, but, um, you know, I, I understand the market, I understand where we are, and I understand the importance of this time and how that impacts, you know, my financial future uh, going forward. And so I think, you know, if anyone that's in my age range is watching this show, should, they should definitely take the leap. So. For those of you who are just uh, tuning in, you're listening to The Power Is Now, Home Buyer Town Hall, if you're listening to our podcast, or if you're live here with us on Facebook, uh, please share this link. I know you may know somebody who's thinking about buying a home. Maybe they're sitting on the fence like Jessica was. Uh, and now is the time to strike while the iron is hot. And as she mentioned, interest rates are historically low, unprecedentedly low. I mean, I have not seen interest rates this low, and I've been in the business for 39 years. In fact, the closest rate I've ever seen that exists now to a fixed rate is an adjustable rate. That was a start rate, actually. And so now is the time to buy, uh, to start building wealth through real estate. Jessica, this is your first purchase in a very, very long time. Uh, when are you going to make your next one? How do you see real estate as being, uh, you know, a part of your portfolio moving forward here? What you know, and you keep adding? Are you looking at units? What's your plans? I, I think you know, I would love to own a multifamily building, um, and I think for me, you know, this is the first step. You know, the first step getting putting my toe back into the market um, on this purchase, and I hope that you know I'll be able to leverage. Um, you know, my equity that I have in this in this purchase over over the years to be able to purchase additional property um, that will help me just to gain additional financial wealth so that I can do as much traveling as I would love to in the future. <laughs> yes, you love to travel. Well, folks, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, I'm going to invite our VIP agents to uh, uh, join this conversation and to just grill jessica she's ready she's a professional y'all so let's let's give her a hard time ask her some tough questions uh and uh, see if she can handle it i think she's up to it though I, I really believe she is so hey you're watching the power is now live on facebook let everybody know we'll be right back right after this commercial break The Power Is Now magazines are the leading resource for real estate agents, mortgage bankers, entrepreneurs, and small home ownership businesses, providing leaders with business strategy information, resources, and tools through PIN, Real Estate Programming Guide magazines, 
Stay up to the minute with real estate news and information from industry experts. Subscription is free. Sign up today. Thepowersnow.com. Thepowersnow.com. And we're back for those of you just joining us. You're watching The Powers Now TV, radio, live on Facebook. Please share the link. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and let others know about The Powers Now as a great resource for information about buying or selling real estate. And of course, if you're looking for a real estate agent, then you need to look any further than right here at thepowersnow.com and look for Find a VIP Agent. And there you'll find extraordinary real estate professionals. In fact, Jessica was uh, singing the praises of her sister, Brianna. She is a VIP agent. You can find her information right there on the website. So is her mother, Ruby Frazier with Frazier Group Realty, VIP Agents. And in addition to that, we have VIP agents with us tonight, and I'm going to ask them to join us as we uh, further discuss Jessica's move, her decision to buy a home now. And again, I want to congratulate her. I'm, I'm a big, proud daddy uh, of my oldest daughter, Jessica, my firstborn, and just very proud of what she has accomplished so far in her life and now this great investment. And so uh, Jenny and um, Carolyn, why don't you guys uh, join us for a moment and have a discussion here. Uh, and uh, so uh, any questions for Jessica? Well, I have to say congratulations, Jessica. And I like the fact that you realize that you're busy. So you bought a home that is really a lock and lead, that you do not have basically any upkeep around it. I mean, of course, you could put some beautiful patio furniture out and some potted mm -hmm. plants, but you really do take into consideration your lifestyle. And mm -hmm. I really like that, that you were tuned in with uh, Broker Bria. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Congrats. Thank you. Congratulations for me as well. Sorry. I, you. I just want to acknowledge that you stepped out of the box. And a lot of people don't step out of the box. And sometimes that's what it takes is stepping out of the box and find to find that home. So I, I congratulate you on that one because that is a really hard one. Thank you. It, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jessica. It's great to see you. Hi. Hi. I um I was excited to have you on the show tonight. I think a little bit of the family relationship to Eric, I think, was looking forward to. You have just as much enthusiasm as he does, and it's great <laughs> to have you on the show. Um, the, 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 the fact that you had spent so much time this year looking for a house was nice to hear. I think a lot of people have been very discouraged with COVID and what it's like going out there and looking at houses. Um, and it sounds like you were able to get past that challenge and, you know, look at properties and show properties to other people as well. And, um, and ultimately within a year, find the perfect place for yourself. So that's great. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Jessica, uh, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to join us this evening. Uh, I want to, uh, obviously, you can hang in there with us as we continue in the show. Uh, Carolyn is up next to talk about uh, the Golden State uh, mm -hmm. Finance Program, and particularly your program that you're on. And um, I want to give you an opportunity for any final words of encouragement that you have to other uh, millennials out there. Uh, are you a millennial? I think you are a millennial. I am. I'm yeah. on the cusp. I barely You're made sure. it, but I'm in you there. You barely <laughs> made it. So uh, final words of encouragement to our millennials. And and again, uh, for those of you who are watching, hey, Rodney, Diane, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Share the video. Uh, Diane Adams, our longtime friend out in Huntington Beach. Rodney in Wisconsin. Rodney, we need to get you into a house, man. Anyway, uh Jessica, final words, final comments for our uh, our audience. Well, I think, you know, like I mentioned earlier, really just get off the fence, just go and do it. I think, you know, once you start the process, you'll be excited that you have done the process. And, um, 
you know, it's going to take some time. Don't get, get discouraged. If you feel like you need to take a break, do so. But definitely stick in there and eventually you will get what you're looking for. Words of wisdom. And I'm so glad uh, you hung in there, Jessica, and uh, made it happen. And uh, we'll be celebrating in just a few more days. What a way to bring in the new year, right? Owning a home. So uh, that's the best Christmas present you can give yourself. I mean, does that mean we're off the hook? No, no. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, next up, folks. Bye, Jessica. <laughs> Next up is, is uh, Carolyn Sansari. Carolyn, thank you so much for joining us today on The Powers Now. And I appreciate you so much for uh, partnering with us. Uh, every, two, every first and third Tuesday night, Carolyn Sansari is here to educate and inform our listeners and our viewers about down payment assistance. And um, uh, Carolyn, uh, I'm excited about our series that launches this coming Friday. And so uh, folks, you're going to be, uh, I would say empowered. If you watch every series, there's gonna be five series that we're gonna do, five, a five part series. The first one being this coming Friday, 10.30 a.m. live right here on Facebook. Carolyn Sansari and I are going to break down the Golden State Finance uh, Agency programs. And there's a whole lot that you have to offer. So uh, tonight, Carolyn, um, the Platinum Program. And you just saw firsthand here, we're keeping in the family with uh, Jessica. So thanks for having me on the show, Eric. Um, before Jessica leaves, can I ask her a couple of questions about the financing that she got? Is she still on the line? Absolutely. Come on back on, Jessica. There we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so it was the Platinum program that you're utilizing. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. So did you hear about it through Eric or how did you hear about the assistance program? I've heard about it before. I hadn't really done any really due diligence on it. Um, and so once I actually read a little bit more about the program, because I was a little like, this can't be real. Why would they do this? You know? <laughs> so once I got, once I understood really the mechanisms behind the program, I felt really comfortable with moving forward. Um, and because my dad, you know, um, helped to administer it through First Bank, um, it really, I, it was just kind of like a no brainer for me at that point. And you're out doing a lot of education around affordable housing programs. It sounds like you're mm -hmm. working with the university down there, I heard. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, yeah, so I do um, affordable housing for the city of Los Angeles. And so it's a lot of, you know, um, redevelopment um, to provide affordable housing opportunities. Previous yeah. to this uh, position, I did do, um, you know, uh, sold, um, did, excuse me, did down payment assistance program through the city of Los Angeles that was somewhat similar to this type of program. Yeah, they do have one I'm kind of familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, it does. It, I think it is very geared towards those first time home buyers and probably in a um, maybe a, a low income, maybe on the lower end of moderate income. Correct. Um, yeah, buyers. it is a great program. Um, what I was wondering is if you're running into some of the same challenges as me, um, just dispelling the myths out there about the fact that you don't need to put 10 or 20 percent down. Did you? You know, I know you're already working out there and educating people, but now you're buying a home yourself. Did that surprise you or did that surprise other people you were talking to that you had so little that you needed to put down on the house? Yeah, it definitely did surprise a lot of people that I was talking to just about my process. Um, and then folks that I've just been working with per, uh, personally who are trying to purchase property. I think some people see see it as kind of like a catch, right? Um, it's like, well, what do I owe them at the end, right? You know, when you think about some of your typical down payment assistant programs, you know, there's some type of um, equity share uh, pr a pr program that goes along with the down payment assistance. And so, um, you know, educating people and sending them the links, right? So they can read it for themselves. I think people really started to understand. Um, and I think, you know, it's interesting. Um, I feel like this is still one of those really well-kept secrets, um, especially for people in my age age bracket. Um, I think that, 
you know, people are like, wow, so you can do all of that and buy and like how how and you have this, right? And so, um, but I think, you know, I think now because of the way that the market is and just, you know, um the different types of, of platforms that people have to be able to get information on the Golden State program, I think that it'll become a lot more popular. Um, and so, yeah. but yeah, it was, it was very, people were very much skeptical, right? And I think yeah. people are really skeptical until you actually close your transaction and you're like, oh, okay. So now that really worked for her. So that, that could work yeah. for me too, you know? And you ended up getting, or you're going to get, at closing, you're going to get around $19,000 in down payment assistance. I, I was trying correct. to figure out the numbers. Is that about right? Yeah. Yeah. That's and about then, right. Mm -hmm. And through the platinum program, and I know we're going to talk about the guidelines a little bit further, but you only have to remain in the home for three years for all of that money to be forgiven. Right. And that's yeah. amazing because I plan on being there for longer than that. So that's great. But I mean, for people who are for people who are thinking, you know, like what, you know, what, what do I owe at the end? I mean, three years goes by so quickly, you know, you'll be, it'll be three years tomorrow. You blink your eyes too fast. So, yeah. um, no, I think overall, I mean, there's really no reason why people shouldn't choose this program, to be honest with you. It checks all the boxes. So, Well, thanks for sharing that with us, because I know as we talk a little bit more about the program and the requirements, it's nice to be able to talk directly to your transaction and the money that you got. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank it's you nice so much. I appreciate it. Eric, you still on the line? I am. You know, so she, uh, got, she got 4% in assistance which ran about $19,000 wow. and um, it's forgiven in three years. There's no interest on it. And if she ends up needing to move or sell the property before three years, that payment assistance is going to, it's going to be prorated. So every year she's in the home of one third of it is forgiven. And at the end of three years, it's all forgiven. So she's starting out with some equity already. Her appraisal sounds like it came in higher than she bought the house. And she's starting out with a little bit of equity because of the down. She's in a great position. She really is. And Carolyn, uh, let's keep it real. I love my daughter. <laughs> I don't think I would give her $19,000. <laughs> you know, uh, and I'm not alone. There's many parents out there, you know, who want their kids kind of to get it done on their own and make it happen, right? And uh, the old pull yourself up by your bootstrap, I'll help you out, I'll give you direction, you know, I get, you know, we raise you, we get you the education you need, open, hopefully help you with opportunities, get a job, save your money, buy a house. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when you put in that context, who do you know that will give you 19 grand? Just straight out give you 19 grand. I don't know anyone, not a parent, unless they are extraordinarily wealthy. And even if they are, they still may make you go earn it yourself. Our family members are friends. So that's number one, that to give it to you, right? And then the other thing is that California Housing Finance Agency uh, provides a similar product, but you have to pay it back. Uh, that to me is what makes this program. In fact, Jessica and I, and Jessica will attest to this, we discuss both programs, the California Housing Finance Agency program and the Golden State Finance Agency program. And in the Cal Hafa, as you know, there's about one and a half percent more money with their ZIP program, uh, but you have to pay it back. And I think not having to pay the money back, and in fact, I want to bring Jessica on it. Jessica, if you hear me, I'm going to add you to the stream here. Not having to pay the money back, uh, that was the deciding factor for you, was it not? It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you like to travel, so that may have left you with some savings. <laughs> uh, some, and you I probably did. had to still pay for some closing costs, a little bit of the yes. closing costs. Yeah, I did. But yeah, it just, I mean, it just made sense. Like my dad said, when we talked about the two different types of programs, just understanding really the mechanisms behind them. And I think, you know, that program really made the most sense for me and what I was trying to do. And so, um, and I like the fact that you don't have to pay the money back. I think that, um, you know, it's difficult enough to get your offer accepted, <laughs> you know, in this market. And then, you know, uh, and then if you have some type of, you know, equity share or something like that, after you've toiled, right, trying to get your offer accepted all this time, it, it's kind of, it, it makes it, 
it's like it's not as sweet, right? So I think you know yeah. the sweeter part was just to you know have all of that kind of not uh, not in the forefront. So yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. So Carolyn, why don't you provide us as you normally do a high level overview of uh, the platinum program and for those who are listening and learning about it for the first time uh they're hearing and seeing a real real life example of someone who's in the program and folks trust me we will be closing on time on the 30th or i will never hear the end of it uh, so <laughs> i know we will be closing on time <laughs> so um high level overview take it away so the program is called gsfa platinum um and and we are really excited to just say that I got news today that Golden State Finance Authority has now funded over $600 million in down payment assistance uh, here in California. We've helped over 80,000 people, but we just broke the $600 million in down payment assistance uh, marker today. So that was kind of exciting. The Platinum Program is our most popular program, I think because the assistance is forgiven after three years. Think that is definitely something uh, that people really care about. But it provides down payment and closing cost assistance up to 5% of the loan amount. Now, how much, whether you want to get 3%, 4%, or 5% in assistance is really between you and the loan officer. How much money maybe you want to contribute out of your own pocket towards down or towards closing, um, whether you know that interest rate works for you. So a loan officer can really help you kind of nuance that loan transaction, but up to 5% is provided by Golden State Finance Authority. That is enough to cover the required down on a conventional loan through Freddie Mac on an FHA loan. And it can even be used, this program can be used with a VA or a USDA loan, which have 100% financing and use the assistance from GSFA to cover closing costs. So a lot of different types of mortgage loans, you do not need to be a first time home buyer to qualify. Um, that's a nice little perk. Uh, if you've owned a house in the past, you can still qualify. And if you own a property today, but you're going to be purchasing another home that will be a primary residence, the one that you're going to be moving into and living in, you can utilize the platinum program to buy that new property and get the down payment and closing cost assistance. The minimum FICO score is 640. And the debt to income ratio maximum is about 45%. There may be some exceptions uh, through man manual underwriting, but 45 is pretty much the stop on debt to income ratio. And we follow the majority of guidelines based on this, the mortgage product itself. So the FHA guidelines, if you're getting an FHA loan or the conventional Freddie Mac guidelines, if you're getting conventional financing, there's not a lot of overlays. I just mentioned the few, the FICO, the debt to income ratio. And if you're going with conventional, we do have an income bracket, like an income limit on the program, but it goes all the way into moderate income, um, somewhere between 140 and 180 percent of the area median income. So well into moderate income can qualify for the program. Keep that in mind. You can utilize your own funds and still use the program and get additional assistance from Golden State, or you can just use the assistance that we provide, and it is forgiven after three years. I think those are kind of the high-level highlights. Eric, did you have any specifics that you might like to ask me about or get into? Well, you know I love this program, and uh, folks, uh, I am slowly becoming a bona fide expert on the Golden State Finance Authority. Wouldn't you agree, Carolyn? <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> I yeah, am. And the series that we're doing is great. Um, oh. The first part of the series comes out this Friday, but part two is specifically about platinum. Yes. So anyone tuned in tonight, do watch uh, the segments as they come out. They'll be posted on The Power Is Now on Facebook on um, the YouTube channel. They'll be on GSFA's Facebook and YouTube channel as well. Um, and hopefully some links up on our websites as well. So There's two join things, us in that There are two things, Carolyn, that I think that also are unique about Golden State is the ability to buy a four unit property up to the conforming limit. 
Now, I wish they would go up to the conforming limit for four <laughs> units, but it maxes out at the conforming unit for one unit. And there are single family uh, four unit properties in rural areas that are in that price range. Uh, in fact, Kenny Sessions and I almost uh, took one down uh, a few months ago and we lost out in a competitive situation. Uh, so that makes the Golden State program so unique. It is my favorite thing to talk about. And I was hoping this year we would put some family in a four unit building with no money down under the Golden State Finance Program, but it didn't happen. So maybe next year, if you're interested in living in a rural area where you'll find four unit buildings selling for under 500, you know, I say under 550, uh, maybe under 570, 570,000, uh, Golden State will cover the three and a half percent down. Uh, the five percent will cover part of the lender origination fee, and the other half will cover the FHA uh, three and a half percent uh, minimum contribution required for the down payment. The other thing that is, uh, I think, so unique about uh, Golden State is that they will make an exception. And I had to use that this week, Carolyn. If your FICO score is 680, 680 or higher, then your debt ratio can go as high as 50 percent. And of course, that's with automated underwriting. If it's manual underwriting, uh, many lenders aren't even doing manual underwriting. But with automated underwriting, your debt ratio can be as high as 50 percent. And that's what a FICO score is 680. So the higher your FICO score, the more opportunities you have with the Golden State Finance Authority. And then uh, the fact that um, you're able to uh, make this money free from day one uh, for first responders and teachers and, and just recently retirees, that to me is another big differentiator between your program, Carolyn, and every other down payment assistance program out there. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that or I didn't mention that, so I'm glad you brought it up. Instead of the assistance being forgiven after three years, if you work in uh, the public service sector of firefighting, police um, and law enforcement, any healthcare or medical profession or within the education industry. So, I mean, we're talking about anyone who works for one of those entities. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, you could be someone in administration, you could be a dispatcher for a 911 dispatcher or an emergency medical technician. Any of those types of occupations means that when you get the platinum program, you're getting the assistance as a gift on day one. So instead of having to wait three years for it to be forgiven, it's forgiven the minute the escrow closes. Um, meaning you're starting out with that equity immediately. So yeah, it's a special feature within our platinum program. And you know, it started, the reason that we started doing that was mm -hmm. before the, you know, the health crisis of this year, it was actually in response to GSFA's commitment to giving back to the community. You know, we've been working in affordable housing and supporting communities in California since 1993. And, and part of our commitment to creating these and establishing stable communities around housing um, was addressing the disasters that happened starting in 2016, especially with mm -hmm. the, the huge fires that we had in Calaveras and in Lake County in 2016 and spreading throughout the state over the last four, four years, devastating communities, um, many residents and homes that were built that were burned down and we started to provide money back to those counties for rebuilding and restructuring covering permit fees and things of that nature today we've we've donated back about 3.5 million dollars back to the communities in california for fire victims and so a couple of two years ago when we started looking at the needs of firefighters and emergency type response occupations, um, we reached out to our servicer and changed this platinum program to provide a gift, provide the assistance as a gift to those types of occupations. It was, it started as firefighting and law enforcement and emergency medical type um, response and technicians. And then we have since expanded that out to education, um, 
which is heavily needed. We need to support our educators and anyone working within schools and out to the medical uh, industry as well, which I think right now they're on the front line of everything going on and, and could really use the support. So it started as our commitment to giving back to communities and it's a, it's a great feature within the Platinum program. You know, the stock was already high with me with Golden State and this story uh, just took it to a whole nother level. And uh, that's what we need uh, more organizations, companies, for profit and nonprofit exercising, you know, community or corporate responsibility, taking some ownership as to uh, what's going on in the world and trying to make it a better place for everyone. And I, I get uh, to me, that's just fantastic. What a wonderful story of Golden State uh, making life easier for those who have been devastated by the fires and uh, those who are assisting those who have been devastated by the fires in California. And now the healthcare workers and the teachers who are definitely on the front line. I want to bring in our VIP agents uh, to ask questions. And I know Jenny had a question about uh, retirees of the uh, retire of the um, teachers' retirement system, uh, Jenny, uh, <laughs> your question. You will. Well, you know, I'm seeing so many uh, retirees right now. You know, we have the we have the millennials, mm -hmm. and then we have the 55 and olders. So this is like big news right now because teachers are getting cut in pay and everything else because of COVID. And they can retire now and take their retirement that they were based off of from last year and mm. retire when if they were thinking about it. And now they can't be scared if this is, you know, the program of actually retiring at this time. So I think it's important. Yeah, retirees are eligible. So if anyone who works for a public, um, any kind of a public or private, even vocational school, can apply for the Platinum Select Teacher, and they can be retired or part-time as well. And we're even extending out to the volunteers. So, uh, you know, it, the volunteers is on a case-by-case -case basis. We need to see documentation regarding that. The retirees are definitely included. Um, and that is including uh, within law enforcement, within fire, and within medical professionals. Because I think we're seeing a lot of people retiring at this time because of all, you know, the financial stability that's there, um, that they see that they don't see right now. So I think that is a really big deal in all of these fields. And it's great that they, we, they can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we see a lot of people who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, um, buying a home for the first time. And, you know, in California, it is so hard to save up for a down payment. And so, some of my most memorable stories are people who have raised whole families in the same house for 30 years. And here they are, uh, their kids are all out and grown. And for the first time they're buying their own home and very touching to me. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is, it's a great program. And it was great to have Jessica on today to talk about her own experience. Yvonne, do you have any questions for, um Carolyn, before we go to our market updates. Well, I'll tell you, Carolyn always does such a great job of answering all your questions before you could even come up with one. <laughs> and I was going to ask about the income bracket and you did very well share the explanation. So that was a concern of mine is where was the income? Where What was the threshold when you know, when a person is buying, what, what did they have to look forward to? If they're making over 150000 will they still qualify and get the money? And in California, we, of course, it's a different guideline. Yeah, we don't have any income limits for FHA, USDA, or VA loans. We're going to defer to if FHA has income limits or VA has income limits. We don't, we don't set them. But on the conventional financing, we do set an income limit and it's published on our website. You can look it up by county. And Eric, do you happen to recall what the income limit was in LA County? Because we just talked about it. It was like 150,000. I want to say 156,850, if I could be yeah. exact. I, is it? Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that range, yeah. 
you know, it, it's um, flexible. I think it's fairly. In fact, uh, I'm going I'm to pull know, it I, up right now. I think actually. it's fairly high. For a down payment yeah. assistance program, I think that it exceeds what most people think would be eligible. Uh, you know, what kind of income you would still be eligible with. Yeah, yeah. So above the 80% is 156. The income limit is, uh, at or below 80% is uh, 86,640. But that's for conventional. But as you stated, it's uh, there's no income limit for um, FHA, uh, VA. There is an income limit for USDA. And folks, we're going to get into those particulars in uh, part two of our series uh, on uh, with Florida State Finance Authority right here on The Power Is Now. Yeah, so just keep following our show. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, Carolyn, as always, you do a fantastic job breaking down uh, the Golden State Platinum Program. And folks, we have more guests that are coming. Uh, we're, we're scheduling them all the way up until March of next year. People who are benefiting from this program. So Carolyn, look out. More to come of people we are putting into homes with down payment assistance. Now, when you're going to take a break, Carolyn's going to hang in there with us. When we come back, we'll have Jenny uh, talk about what's going on in Corona and Yvonne in Arizona with their market update and any particular listings they have for sale. So if you're looking to buy or sell in Arizona or anywhere in the Inland Empire, you know, stay tuned. We'll be right back right after this commercial break. Everyone knows the power of social media and the impact a strong online presence has in this day and age. But most real estate agents simply do not have the time to manage all the advertising and marketing details. And that's where the Power Is Now Media steps in. We are the answer you have been looking for. Let us help put your brand on the map. We will create customized graphics for weekly full page ads, social media content, video, and podcast content for you. Sound complicated and expensive? It is affordable and easy. We have the best experts on the job. Go to thepowerisnow.com and find us under the VIP Agent tab to learn more. This is the future of real estate. Join today, thepowerisnow.com. And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to the Powers Now Home Buyer Town Hall, where we talk about real estate and how to get it financed, how to build wealth through real estate. And uh, this show is really uh, having an impact on a lot of people. In fact, share the show. If you have friends that are watching on Facebook or on Facebook, please share to your friends. If you're in groups, share to your groups. Uh, like us, follow us uh, on Twitter. And um, also, we have a podcast on Blog Talk Radio. You can also find us on iTunes and you can share this information. This is great information. And I think anyone who is serious about becoming a homeowner, they need to learn about it. They need to hear about it. And that's what we try to do here every first and third Tuesday night right here on The Power Is Now. We're going to start with uh, Jenny Gonzalez, who is a VIP agent on The Power Is Now, an extraordinary real estate professional out of Corona, California. Welcome, Jenny, to our show again. What a sh great show this has been tonight, right? It has. It's the second week in a row we've had a uh, buyer using Golden State, and it's fantastic. My son is so looking forward to closing. He's like, we're halfway through our transaction. He's like, can I buy anything yet? And I'm like, no. <laughs> he is so eager to, to purchase right now with the Golden State program. He's a teacher, so after uh, it closes day one, um, the closing costs are going to be granted. So I'm really excited. So this is Jenny Gonzalez with Keller Williams Corona. And my license number is 01249788. My cell phone number is 951-316-0374. And I have a fantastic website at JennyGSellsHomes.com. Well, I want to talk about Corona and the Inland Empire. So we haven't seen any changes since 
the last week or so, our inventory is super low. For instance, in Corona last week, we had about 140 listings. Now we're down to 134. Uh, we have almost 300 listings in escrow. So that's a lot of homes in escrow right now. So I think a lot of people are getting Christmas gifts um, in the way of homes this Christmas. And then we have about 180 that are uh, that closed in the last 30 days. So it looks like it's taking a little bit longer to close escrows. And I think it's because um, appraisers and underwriters are really inundated right now. But the process is still there. And we're all still here to serve you as real estate agents. The only thing that we're having a problem right now with is inventory. And that is a big problem because now it's forcing everybody out of Corona into the outlying areas such as Riverside, um, down Lake Elsinore, Menifee, Marietta, Temecula, um, even as far east as Beaumont, Banning. People are going outside of Corona because there's just not enough inventory. I do have some good news about Corona that just got released this week. We have Skyline Trails, which is the park that everybody goes to, to do their hiking. They take their dogs, they take their family. My oldest used, when he had a photo class in high school, he went up there. They have waterfalls and everything. He took a girlfriend up there and she was up on the cliff with beautiful sunset. They have, a, they have acquired over 200 acres more in the forest for skyline trails and everybody's so excited because everybody uses it as an outlet here it's a great place to go hiking people in riverside go to mount baldy people in corona and orange county they come here to skyline trails and to make it almost double the size it's absolutely fantastic we're really excited because that means even more people can go because during covid when they closed down that first time they actually closed down skyline and so we all were kind of like felt cooped up and then when they started releasing i think that's when they figured out that they needed to acquire some more land so that the residents didn't go crazy so that's my good thought of Corona today in our coronavirus <laughs> episode today. So I don't have any listings. I've got some I'm working on, but people are, are sitting on the fence now right now because it is a, tis the season. Uh, those that are listing right now are pretty much ones that need to go. Mm -hmm. And other people are just waiting, I think, until after the holiday, which I don't blame them. But if you're ready to go, give me a call. But well, there you have it, folks. Jenny Gonzalez, Jenny G. Check out her brand new website. Fabulous, Jenny. And um, reach out to her if you're interested in buying or selling in Corona. Jenny Gonzalez, a VIP agent right here at The Power Is Now. Next up is the extraordinary Yvonne McFadden. Nobody sells Arizona or talks about Arizona like <laughs> Yvonne McFadden. I love Arizona. I am an implant from California, born and raised, and I bought a second home, and here I am. Licensed realtor for 32 years in Scottsdale, Arizona, and our market is incredible. I just want to share a few items with you. We have a total of 11,546 properties active. Typically, we're at 40,000. Out of that 11,546 single family dwellings we have on the market, 8,667. Patio homes, 148. Town homes, 938. Condos, which apartments, 943. 96 duplexes, 723 manufactured houses prefabs 11, and loft style 23. This is unheard of. The market is still in a frenzy. I have, I have a new listing coming, and it's at the Sanctuary in Phoenix. 85050 is an incredible location. High Street is in the process of making it a mecca here in the Valley. So you will be less than a half a mile from High Street. Desert Ridge is the community. 
and it's an industrial area. You have restaurants, you have the JW Marriott within walking distance of this gated community. Although this gated community has so much to offer, the clubhouse is amazing. You can have your private parties. You can have a beachfront party there, the way their pool is designed. And you will not go unwanted with all of the walking trails around the area as well. But this home is 2,363 square feet. It is a two-story. It was built in 2017. I can't wait to get the uh, photograph so you can see it next time we're on. But it will probably, I'll list it maybe no more than 610000 And that's market. My sellers are very savvy. So they may decide to go a bit under market, which would be a good thing because we now have homes that are staying on the market as long as 32 days, average days on market. That's unheard of though. We typically have houses going in hours, but over the past four weeks, we have seen a trend where they're staying on the market 10 days, 16 days, but average days on the market now is 32 days. I know it doesn't sound like a lot and where we're having our problem is closings because the refinances are in the trillions and we have purchases that are trying to get closed. So you're having a real task, aren't you, Mr. Frazier? But I have to tell you here in Arizona, the challenge is great. They're asking for longer escrows and most are willing to accommodate. We are seeing some prepossessions because people want to get in prior to the holidays, but it's a great time to be in Arizona. We have 13 counties and as you mentioned, rural, believe me, people are moving out to these rural locations and it's beautiful, a very majestic lifestyle here in the Valley of the Sun, Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Yvonne McFadden. I can be reached Yvonne McFadden, realtor.com or 480-628-2619. McFadden. Nobody sells Arizona like Yvonne McFadden. You know, folks, did you know that you can buy a rural property with 100% financing? It's not a special program or anything like It's just a regular program sponsored by the United States Department of Agriculture. It's called the USDA loan. 100% financing. Uh, there is an income limitation and you have to go to their website to see what that is, the income limitation. Uh, go, in fact, just Google USDA, USDA, just Google USDA, and it'll pop right up, property or eligibility. Put in the property address, and it'll let you know if that property is eligible for 100% financing. And the website will let you know if there's any income limitations, because uh, there are income limitations, but are certain areas, certain metropolitan statistical areas that do not have income limitations and you can get 100% financing. So with COVID-19, many companies um, allowing their employees to work from home, they don't have the, the concern of having to be, you know, 10 minutes or 15 or 20 minutes from work or fighting traffic when they can work from home. And so now the option of moving to more rural areas where you can get big houses, lots of land, raise chicken and pigs and cows, you know, uh, can you imagine chickens and going out and getting your own eggs? <laughs> I mean, so that's real now with what's happening in our economy and with our society in, ger in general with people working from home. Well, if you want more information about what's going on in various markets, I want to invite you to tune in this coming Friday at 1030 a.m. 1030 a.m. will be live right here on Facebook. It's called the Power Is Now Real Estate Roundtable, where our VIP agents talk about listings they have, listings that are coming on the market, and about the market. That's what the show is all about. And then that's every first and third Friday of the month, right here on facebook.com forward slash the power is now. For those of you who speak Spanish or you have family members of Latino descent or Hispanic descent, um, we have El Perder Es Ora. 
The Power is Now in Spanish, Home Buyer Town Hall and Real Estate Roundtable. And these shows are hosted by Adriana Montez, who's from Colombia. She's a broker owner of Florida Dreams Real Estate in Florida. And her shows are at 1030 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. That's 730 Pacific Standard Time. And look for more information about that. Go to our website, thepowersnow.com, and learn more about our Spanish uh, shows. We also have our commercial show, which is going to be actually tomorrow. Steve Peterson, who is an extraordinary real estate professional specializing in commercial real estate. He has a, his own show right here on The Power Is Now. It's called The Commercial Roundtable with Steve Peterson. And that's going to be tomorrow right here live on Facebook. I believe the time is around noontime. Uh, and um, uh, I certainly hope that you'll tune in. Actually, that's right, 12 o'clock p.m. Uh, West Coast time, the Commercial Real Estate Roundtable with Steve Peterson. Now, I, I want to encourage you again uh, to tune in for our special series. Part one starts this Friday. And uh, Carolyn, uh, let's bring you back on for a minute. Uh, I just have to thank you again. I can't thank you enough for partnering with The Powers Now to put out this information. And as you can see, we are actually taking advantage of it and getting people in the program. And I certainly hope many lenders and real estate professionals out there take or follow our lead in helping people to learn and understand about the power of the Golden State Finance Agency's programs. Thank you for your partnership. Yeah, and if you are listening tonight and you are not looking to buy a home, spread the word still. Let people know about the GSFA Down Payment Assistance Program because it isn't too good to be true. You heard it from Jessica today, $19,000 to help her buy a home in LA County. Uh, the power is now. So help us spread the word. Join us on Friday as we launch part one of the five-part series. And Eric, I'm I'm thrilled to be partnering with The Power Is Now as well. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, folks, um, uh, that's just about a wrap. I want to uh, give my VIP agents uh, the final word on tonight's show before we end. My final comments, I have said each week or every other week that this truly is a Corona bonus. Uh, it has given so many people an opportunity to stop and pay attention to what's most important. And it truly is family and friends and those that care about you. And being a VIP agent with the power is now has given me more warmth in my life that I can imagine. I, I've been a realtor for 32 years and I have never been exposed to a platform that is professional, inviting, knowledgeable. I, I usually do what power stands for, you know, preparedness and just really owning what you're doing. And I, I'm just so honored. And I thank you, Carolyn, for raising my knowledge level on the DPA, which led me to really hunt down Dirk, the person in Arizona. And now I am very hopeful that Mr. Frazier will be signing on with Dirk Swift. And I will be present with my first time home buyers or those that are participating with the DPA. And I just want to say all of you have a very happy holidays and thank you again for this platform. You are very welcome. Uh, and uh, those are just uh, uh, touching words. Uh, the Corona bonus. Uh, that's you. You own that, by the way. We should pay you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some type of royalty every time we say that the Corona bonus and for what it means. Yes. Uh, Carolyn, any final comments from you uh, about tonight's show and any final words uh, to our audience before we end? I think what Yvonne said really resonates for me. Um, she calls it the Corona bonus, like everything that's been going on and our reprioritization, but the interest rates have never been this low. And while you know, the inventory is challenging in California. If you get started today, you reach out to a loan officer, 
you start getting pre-qualified for these down payment assistance programs like we're talking about tonight, or the one in Arizona that Yvonne's gonna start working with, you're on the right path. And the sooner you get started, the sooner you will start building a future and wealth and an investment and a home that you can truly call home with your own property. So get started now. Well, there you have it, folks. The power is now. It really is to buy real estate, to invest in real estate, to start building wealth through real estate. And um, it's easy to do, especially when you have limited resources. Um, you know, you can get into a home with help. There is help available for you. And I am here to assist you in any way that I can. If you need advice and direction, uh, call me. Schedule a time to meet with me. Um, be happy to show you what you need to do. Maybe you're not ready right now and you just need some direction. That's what I do. I'm a mortgage advisor. That's what I am. 39 years I've been helping people to achieve the American dream of home ownership. I want to also, uh, before we end this show, just um, thank my wife for you know, 39 years of marriage, folks. Uh, when we meet again, the next Tuesday night show right here on The Powers Now, I will have been married for 39 years to my Nubian queen, uh, Ruby Frazier. Ruby Lee Gordon Frazier, 10 o'clock in the morning, December 19th, we uh, became one. And uh, Jessica was the first one we brought into this world about a year and a half later. And uh, I am blessed beyond uh, words. Uh, there are no words that can fully express how I feel, and how much gratitude I have in my heart. Uh, for what God has done in our lives over these last 39 years. Uh, four incredible daughters, uh, three incredible grandkids, two awesome son-in-laws, uh, and just a wonderful life. And so it's my prayer uh, that uh, we can be an example to others uh, as we continue to um, uh, live out our goals and dreams of family, and uh, building wealth and, and leaving an, a legacy and an inheritance for our children and our children's children. That ought to be the goal of every parent, to want to leave a legacy uh, for their children. And um, that's our goal. Thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. The power is now. The Power Is Now Media is worldwide with growing audience of future home buyers, investors, builders, developers, real estate agents, and brokers. The Power Is Now Media is well positioned to increase awareness and produce results for our growing roster of advertising partners. An advertisement on any of our platforms is the right step toward reaching and communicating key brand messages to a targeted network of individuals, families, and communities interested in housing. Our content areas include feature stories and profiles on successful real estate agents, business owners, government, and community leaders. The Power Is Now magazines are the leading resource for real estate agents, mortgage bankers, entrepreneurs, and small home ownership businesses, providing leaders with business strategy information, resources, and tools through PIN, real estate, and programming guide magazines. Stay up to the minute with real estate and mortgage news and information from industry experts. VIP agents are able to feature listings each week. The Power Is Now TV radio podcast features weekly shows that include Homebuyers Town Hall, Real Estate Roundtable, VIP Agent Spotlight, and so much more. Each week, VIP agents have opportunities to be featured guests on the shows. VIP agents can discuss and showcase houses, neighborhoods, and provide brief introductions. The interviews are unlimited 10 to 15 minutes on each current listing. This product alone separates you from your competition. The Power Is Now delivers to you 
market update interview to promote listing weekly, promotional biographical video, co-host a bi-monthly homebuyers town hall show, featured subject matter expert on real estate roundtable show. The Power is Now Program Guide e-magazine. The Power is Now National e-magazine. Article writing and blogging. Social media content customization. Inclusion and press releases. Graphic design services. Business and performance coaching. Technology support. Referrals. Lead generation opportunities and management support.